Welcome to Get Ungrounded Trivia. I'm your host Boris. Let's meet our contestants for today. Contestant number one needs no introduction. It's Caillou. Up next, we have Elmo as contestant number two. And last but probably still least, we have Thumbs Up Guy. Let me explain the rules. Each of these contestants has already been grounded for a very long time. For each question they get right, they will be ungrounded for several years. But for each question they get wrong, they will receive a few more years of grounding as punishment, and at the end of the game, their score will change how long they're grounded. Alright guys, let's jump right into things and start with an easy warm-up question. Question number one, what is one plus one? Okay Elmo, what is the answer? The answer is seven. No Elmo, one plus one is not seven, you idiot. For getting that question wrong, you will be grounded 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 for five more years. <coughs> Would anyone else like to answer this question? The answer is two. Good job Caillou, that is the right answer, and it might be the first math problem you've ever gotten correct. You are now ungrounded for five years. Okay, time for the next question. Where was pineapple pizza invented? Is the answer Disneyland? No Elmo, the answer is not Disneyland, you are grounded 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 for 10 more years. Is the answer Canada? Yes thumbs up guy, the answer is Canada, you are now ungrounded for 10 years. Time for the third question now. Find the integral of 12 plus cosecant of x times sine of x plus cosecant of x dx. Is the answer baked potato covered with cheese and served with broccoli? No Elmo, the answer was not baked potato covered with cheese and served with broccoli. Not even close, you are now grounded 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 for 100 more years. <laughs> Alright guys, does anyone else want to try and answer this question? Time's up. The answer was 13x minus cotangent of x plus c. How could you not get that one? Anyway, time for the next question. Which side won the American Civil War, the Union, or the Confederacy? Was it the Miami Dolphins? No Elmo, it was not the Miami Dolphins. I literally told you it was either the Union or Confederacy, you are grounded 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 for 50 more years. Was it the Confederacy? No Caillou, it was not the Confederacy, you are grounded 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 for 50 years. Is it the Union? Yes thumbs up guy. Good job using the process of elimination to figure out the answer to a question with only two answers. You are ungrounded for 50 years. Time for the next question now. Who is this character? Is it George Washington Carver? Elmo, you have to buzz in before you can answer. Oh, whoops. Is the answer George Washington Carver? No, Elmo. The answer is not George Washington Carver. You had two tries to answer it and you still picked the dumbest possible answer. You are grounded 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 for 5 years. Is the answer JJ the jet plane? Yes Caillou, that is the correct answer. You are ungrounded for 5 years. Time for another question. Who is the main character of Tales of Symphonia? Is the answer Dante from the Devil May Cry series? No, the answer is not Dante from the Devil May Cry series. You are grounded 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 for 10 years. Is the answer Lloyd Irving? That is correct. You are ungrounded for 10 years. Time to move on to the next question. What voice is commonly used for Boris and Go Animate? Is the answer Ivy? No Elmo. The answer is not Ivy. Do you really think I sound like this? You are grounded 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 for 20 years. Is the answer Eric? Yes, the answer is Eric. You are ungrounded for 20 years. Alright guys, 
time to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. I am stupid. I wish there was a way for me to be less stupid. Then why don't you go to school? School, guaranteed to make you less stupid. Terms and conditions apply. Actual results may vary. Happy Holidays from Walmart. We know it is not even close to December, but it is never too early to start showing you Christmas commercials. Have you ever sat on the toilet for 5 hours waiting for the poop to come out? Worry no more, because we present our newest product, the Mexican Poop Man. He dances in front of you while you sit on the toilet in order to encourage the poop to come out. Order now. Only 555,555,555 dollars. Welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia. Now let's get right back into the next question, shall we? What does D, M, A, stand for? Does it stand for dummies not all over? No, it does not stand for dummies not all over. You are grounded 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 for 300 years. <laughs> Is the answer deoxyribose nucleic acid? Yes, thumbs up, guy. The answer is deoxyribose nucleic acid. You are ungrounded for 300 years. Time for the next question. The question is Will Elmo get this question right? No, Elmo will not get this question right. Elmo hasn't gotten a question right all day. Why start now? That is correct. You will not get this question right, but I guess since you got that correct, that means you got the answer right, so you actually got it wrong since you said you would not get it right. But then if you answered it incorrectly, then it means that you got the answer wrong, which you said you would do, but then if you did what you said you would do, then that would mean that you actually did not do what you said you would do. But then again. Correctly answering that meant that you did not correctly answer that, so... You know what? Screw this. Elmo changes his answer to frozen Lunchables. That is incorrect. The right answer is definitely not frozen Lunchables. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next question now. When was Windows 1.0 introduced? Is the answer 1776? No Elmo, the answer is not 1776, that is the year the United States became independent, you are grounded 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 for 200 years. Is the answer 1940? No Caillou, the answer is not 1940, you are grounded 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 for 200 years. Is the answer 1992? No thumbs up guy, the answer is not 1992. You are grounded 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 for 200 years. <laughs> Nobody knew that one. The correct answer is 1985. Now it's time for another question. What year did the United States become independent? Is the answer 1985? No, it is not 1985. That is the year Windows 1.0 was released. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. <laughs> Is the answer 1776? Good job thumbs up guy. The correct answer is 1776. You are ungrounded for 50 years. Now for another question. What planet do humans live on? Is the answer Earth? Yes, the answer is Earth. Good job finally getting a question right. You are ungrounded for one year. Wait. Elmo finally gets a question right and it's only worth one year? That's not fair. Life isn't fair. Anyway, time for the next question. In what year did Colonel Sanders die? Was it 2043? No Elmo, it is not 2043. That year hasn't even happened yet. You are grounded 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 for 1000 years. Is the answer 1980? Yes. The correct answer is 1980. You are ungrounded for 1000 years. Alright guys, time for our final question of the night. Get ready for it. Should you subscribe to Pappy Anime 2012? No, you should not subscribe to Pappy Anime 2012. Oh, uh, oh. 
Thumbs up guy. How dare you say you shouldn't subscribe to Pappy Anime 2012. That's it. You are grounded 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 for 9789631928536151. Seven years. Alright, well that's the end of Get Ungrounded Trivia. All of our contestants were terrible today and all got grounded for even longer than they were before tonight. Either way, my name is Boris, and I wish you all a good night. Welcome to another episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia. I'm your host Boris. Let's meet our contestants for today. Up first we have Cookie Monster, a creature of high intelligence. Up next we have Johnny Test and his obnoxious whip crack noises. And finally, we have Rosie. The rules are simple. Get a question right and you're ungrounded. Get it wrong and you're grounded. Alright, let's get on with it already. True or false, cats say meow. If you think you know the answer, then buzz in and say it. Alright Cookie Monster, what is the answer? Cookie. No, the answer is not Cookie, that was a true and false question you moron. You are grounded 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 for 20 years. Would anybody else like to answer this question? That is true. Yes Rosie, the answer is true. Cats do in fact meow. You are ungrounded for 20 years. Now let's move on to the next question. Who was the first president of the United States of America? Was it Cookie Man? No Cookie Monster. The United States of America has never had a president named Cookie Man. You are grounded 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 for five years. Is it George Washington? Correct. The first president of the United States was George Washington. Good job Johnny Test. You are ungrounded for five years. Now it is time for another question. What is the only food the Japanese emperor is not allowed to eat? Is it cookie? No, the Japanese emperor is allowed to eat cookies. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. Is the answer rhubarb? No Rosie, it isn't rhubarb either. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. This one is still up for grabs. Will Johnny Test go for it? Time's up. The Japanese emperor is not allowed to eat puffer fish, also known as fugu. Let's just move on to another question now. What number am I thinking of right now? Is the answer cookie? No cookie monster. The number I am thinking of is not cookie, because cookie isn't even a number. Wait, can I have one more chance? Well, normally we don't allow second chances. But for this question only, I will allow it, but you have to say something besides cookie. Don't worry, my answer will not be cookie. Okay, then what is your answer? Is the answer oatmeal raisin cookie? Oh for Pete's sake, no, the answer isn't cookie, and it also isn't oatmeal raisin cookie. Neither of those are numbers you buffoon. I was only going to ground you for 100 years. But since you wasted my time, I am instead going to ground you for 1,000 years. <coughs> Alright, does anyone else want to try and guess the number I'm thinking of? Time's up. The answer was 24,397. How was that not obvious? Alright, well I'm losing a ton of brain cells here. So let's go on a commercial break so I can get some back. We'll be right back after these messages. This episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia is sponsored by Grubhub. The meme might be dead, but somehow we're still around. Have you or a loved one been traumatized by a Go Animate video? Do you still like characters from shows meant for three-year-olds despite being above the age of 10? Do you think that fictional characters being grounded constitutes as real-life child abuse? Do you like clicking on videos that you know you won't like? Do you have zero grasp on reality or the world around you? If you answered yes to some or all of these questions, 
you might be eligible for financial compensation. Call 1-800-STOP-GROUNDING today and we'll solve the problem. Fictional children who don't exist in real life shouldn't have to be abused like this. Together, we can end Go Animate. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia. Now let's jump right back in with another question. How far away is the Earth from the Sun? Is the answer cookie? Incorrect. The Sun is not cookie miles away from the Earth. You are grounded 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 for zero years. Is the answer 93 million miles? Correct, Rosie. The Sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. You are ungrounded for 100 years. Cool. Now it's time for another question. What are often referred to as the powerhouse of the cell? Is it the cookie? Cookie monster? I swear. Answering cookie for every question isn't funny anymore. You are grounded 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 for 30 years. Is it the mitochondria? Yes, Johnny Test. The mitochondria is indeed the powerhouse of the cell. You are ungrounded for 30 years. Let's just move on to another question, shall we? What shape is the musical instrument of the triangle? Is it the cookie? I've had enough of this, cookie monster. If you answer cookie to one more question, then I will be very mad at you, and also, you are grounded 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 for 100 years. Is it a circle? No, the triangle is not shaped like a circle. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Is the answer square? No Johnny test. The triangle isn't shaped like a square either. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Seriously guys? Nobody guessed that the triangle is shaped like a triangle? Do you guys need mental help or something? Whatever. I guess I'll just move on to the next question. What is the largest land animal alive today? Wow, everyone buzzed in at once. Is it the cookie? Is it the cookie? Is it the cookie? Holy crap, you're all just trying to mess with me at this point. But you know what, I've had enough of this. Here, let me redo this question. There, answer this, smarty pants. Do you know the answer to this one? Time's up. Oh no, none of you got it right. Oh well, I guess I'll have to punish you all now. I'm leaving this stupid game show, this is like torture, I'm not doing this anymore. Wait, Boris, we're not done yet, we just have one more question to go. I don't give a crap, find someone else to do it, because I'm leaving. But how are we gonna find someone to take over at such short notice? Go to a commercial or something and find someone. I really don't care. All right, folks, we're going on a quick commercial break. We'll be back right after these messages. On this week's exciting episode of Ben 10, Gwen challenges Ben 10 to see who can spend more time sitting on a literal giant tomato. Don't miss this week's exciting episode of Ben 10. Have you ever taken a giant bottle and filled it with pee? Because I sure have, and the bottle is right here. I spent two days filling this bottle up by peeing into it, and now it's finally full. I now feel like I've managed to accomplish something in my dull, pathetic life. This isn't even an actual commercial. I just really wanted to tell you guys about my life's accomplishments of peeing into a giant bottle. So yeah, bye bye now. children, I'm some random guy they just pulled out of the recording booth, and I'm here to take over the show, so let's get back into it. Everyone was doing very badly, so we're doing something different for the last question. Whoever gets it right gets all their grounding pardoned, and the losers are forever grounded. Get ready for the last question.
Everything depends on it. What is the name of a flat round dessert food often made with chocolate chips inside? Who? Me know this one. Is it the cookie? Why yes, it is the cookie. That is the correct answer, Rosie. Hey, I was supposed to get that right. I've been answering cookie all day. Well, you were too slow and I got it instead. What are you gonna do about it? I'll show you what I'm gonna do about it. Om nom 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 Well, Rosie is our grand prize winner and gets all her years of grounding removed. Although since she'll be spending the rest of her life in Cookie Monster's belly, I don't think she's really that much of a winner. Oh yeah, and the other two contestants are both grounded forever since they didn't get the last question, so yeah. Well, that's it for today's episode of Getting Grounded Trivia. I hope you all have a good night and stay ungrounded. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia. My name is Boris, and I'm back on the show after being bribed with a large sum of money. Regardless, let's just meet our contestants for today. Up first is Elmo, who are giving another chance for reasons unknown to me. Up next is Bubsy, everyone's least favorite video game character. And finally, we have a literal giant tomato for some reason. So, before we begin, I will take some time to explain the rules for Get Ungrounded Trivia. I will ask a series of questions. Any contestant who buzzes in and answers it correctly will get ungrounded for a few years, but anyone who gets an answer wrong will be grounded. Well, that's enough cheap chat, so let's jump right into the first question. What kind of fruit is apple juice made with? Buzz in and answer the question if you know it. Alright. Elmo has buzzed in. Now please tell me your answer that will totally not sound incredibly stupid. Is the answer pickles? No Elmo. Apple juice is not made out of pickles. What on earth are you thinking? You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Okay Bobsy, what is your answer? My answer is cucumber. No Bobsy. Apple juice is not made with cucumber. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. This question is still going on. The tomato can still answer if it wants to. Time's up. The correct answer was apples, because that one totally wasn't obvious. Whatever. Let's just move on to the next question. True or false, French toast was invented in France. Is the answer true? No, the answer is not true. French toast was not invented in France. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. Is the answer true? No Elmo. I literally just told Bubsy that the answer is not true. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. It's not over yet. Does the tomato want to buzz in and tell me the answer? Time is up. The answer is false, because French toast was invented in Rome. Now let's just do another question. What does the DK on Donkey Kong's necktie stand for? Does it stand for NVIDIA GeForce? No, DK does not stand for NVIDIA GeForce. You are grounded 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 for 1000 years. Is the answer White Castle chicken burger sliders with onions? No Bobsy, the answer is not White Castle chicken burger sliders with onions, are you and Elmo having a competition to see who can annoy me the most? You're grounded for 1000 years. 
third time's the charm, will the tomato finally answer the question? I'm sure this is its time to shine. Time's up. The DK on Donkey Kong's necktie stands for Donkey Kong, because that was just a very hard question. Let's just go to a commercial break while I go bang my head against the wall because of these stupid dancers. We'll be right back after these messages. Has this ever happened to you? I want to buy a taco. We are a burger place you idiot, we don't sell tacos. Why uh? This happens all the time and is very unfortunate. But not anymore. Introducing our newest invention, a map to the nearest taco. This map will tell you where the nearest taco is, so you can go and eat it. Oh boy, the taco map says there's a taco nearby. The map to the nearest taco, let nothing come between you and a delicious taco. This is a public service announcement to tell you that anyone who does not leave milk and cookies for Santa this Christmas will be sent to jail. I repeat, if you do not leave milk and cookies for Santa on Christmas Eve, then you are going to prison. We realize that Christmas isn't for another six months, but we just wanted to give you advance notice of this new law so that you don't commit any Christmas felonies. Oh, look at that bunny. Isn't it cute? Don't you think it's the most precious little thing ever? Because we sure don't. That's why here at Kentucky Fried Bunnies, we serve 500 pounds of rabbit every day. So come on down to KFB and try some fried bunny today. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia. Let's jump right back into the swing of things with another question. What is the name of a scientist who studies insects? Is it Butterflyist? No, Elmo. The answer is not butterflyist, because butterflyist is not a real word. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 500 years. Is the answer a liquid chops the jolly evil? No, Bobsy. The answer is not a liquid chops the jolly evil. What on earth is going through your stupid head? You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 500 years. This question is not over yet, it is still up for grabs for whoever wants it. Time's up. A scientist who studies insects is an insectologist. Time for another question now. What kind of animal is Peppa Pig? Come on guys, someone answer this question, it's really easy. Time's up. The answer is that Peppa Pig is a pig. I can't believe nobody even tried to answer that one, but whatever. Let's just move on to another question. Mexican Poop Man. What are you doing on the stage? You don't belong here. Get out of here right now. Hey, what are you doing? And why do I suddenly feel the need to poop? Didn't you see his commercial in our first episode? The Mexican poop man can make anyone poop by dancing in front of them. Oh no, the Mexican poop man just caused me to poop on the stage on live TV. Security. Come take this Mexican poop man away. Don't worry, I'll get rid of him for you. Oh no, the Mexican poop man's poop dance is working on me too. All right folks, well it's time to go to a quick commercial break while we try to get the Mexican poop man off the stage and also clean up all the poop that he caused. We'll be right back to get ungrounded trivia after these messages. Time to go back home after a long day of school. Wait a minute, why does my house look like that? And why is the sky white? And why is there no grass? And why does everything have no detail? Whoa, is my house filled with baked beans now? I love baked beans, I am no longer concerned about the fact that everything I know is wrong. Baked beans, even when your entire life is a lie, baked beans will always be there for you. All of my problems have magically vanished because now I have baked beans. Baked beans, by now or you will never be happy again. I am
I'm going to do some drugs. Oh no now I am dead. Don't do drugs or you will die. Are you tired of being a cactus? Do you wish that you could become a human being instead of a cactus? Well then, today is your day. Sir, we tried to tell you that nobody in our focus groups is a cactus. You are wasting your time with this commercial. Shut up, crew boy. You're fired. So yeah, as I was saying, just come down to my store in the Sahara Desert, and I will turn you from a cactus into a human being. I'm telling you sir, literally nobody is going to do that. Cacti can't even walk, so how do you expect them to come to your store? Security! Get this no good naysayer off the set. Welcome back to Get Unground and Trivia. Hey, wait a second, where did everybody go? Hang on, here we are, just in the nick of time. How dare you show up late, that's it. I will be extending your punishment by double because you wasted my time. Okay, now it's time for another question. What year were the first Hat Wheels cars released? Is the answer 2007? No Bobsy. The answer is not 2007, you are grounded 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 for 10 years. <laughs> no Elmo, the answer is not rooster noise, you are grounded 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 for 10 years. I don't know why we even bother at this point, but the tomato can still answer this if it wants to. Time's up. The answer is 1968. Now let's move on to another question. What is the largest type of shark alive today? Is it whale shark? Yes, the answer is whale shark. That's the first question anyone's gotten right all day, and I'm completely shocked. You are ungrounded for 10,000 years. Wait, did I say 10,000? Sorry, I meant 100. Anyway, it's time for our final question of the night, get ready for it. Which Pokemon is yellow and likes to say Pika Pika? Is the answer Charizard? No, the answer is not Charizard. He is not yellow and he does not say Pika Pika. You are grounded 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 for 10,000 years. And yes, I actually do mean 10,000 this time. Is the answer SpongeBob SquarePants? No, Elmo. SpongeBob SquarePants is not even a Pokemon. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 10,000 years. Will the tomato finally answer this one? Nope, looks like it won't. The yellow Pokemon that likes to say Pika Pika is Pikachu. Well then. Elmo and Bubsy just got their butts kicked by a literal tomato that can't even talk or move, which just proves how dumb the contestants on this show really are. So I guess the tomato was probably the best contestant in the history of the show and is our grand prize winner. I hope you all have a good night, and stay ungrounded. Hey Boris, are you surprised to see me here? Caillou, what are you doing on stage? It's time for me to host Get Ungrounded Trivia. There's been a slight change of plans. This episode, all the contestants will be parents instead of kids, and you get to be one of the contestants. What? I never agreed to this. I'm not going to go through with that. I won't be a contestant. Aw, uh, are you afraid you'll lose? Is Boris so stupid that he cannot win a simple trivia game? Is he a baby who is too scared to lose? Oh well, I guess you'll just be a coward forever. What? You think I won't do it because I'm too stupid to win? I'll show you, I'll get the highest score that anyone's ever gotten on this show. Not that the bar is set very high. 
Hello everyone, welcome to Get Unrounded Trivia, let's meet our contestants for today. Up first we have Boris, my dad who will probably not win this game. Up next we have Elmo's mom, and Benyan who says it's not Elmo's real mom is getting grounded. And finally we have Cookie Monster's dad, who I really hope is able to say something other than is it the cookie. The rules are the same as always, get a question right and you're unrounded, get it wrong and you're grounded, let's start now. Do cats typically have ears? If you think you know the answer to this question, then buzz in and say it. Alright Cookie Monster's dad, what is your answer? Is it the cookie? No, it is not the cookie, and here's a hint. Literally no answer this round will be the cookie, you are grounded 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 for 50 years. Is the answer yes? Correct, cats do typically have ears, you are ungrounded for 50 years. Time to move on to the next question. How do you spell dog? No, that is not how you spell dog, that is how you spell cookie, you are grounded 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 for 10 years. Is it D-O-G? Yes Elvis mom, that is indeed how you spell dog, you are ungrounded for 10 years. Okay, now it is time to do another question. What is Captain Crunch's real name? Is it oatmeal? No, Captain Crunch's first name is not oatmeal. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 100 years. Is it John? No, it's not John either. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 100 years. This question is still up for grabs. Will Boris attempt to answer it? Time's up. Captain Crunch's first name is Horatio. Now it is time for a new question that hopefully someone will actually get right. Who founded Taco Bell? Was it Glenn Bell? Yes, Taco Bell was founded by Glenn Bell. You are ungrounded for 100 years. Alright, well, now it's time for a quick commercial break, because I say so. We'll be right back after these messages. Have you ever tried to go to the bathroom to take a dump, only for the toilet to take a dump before you can? Well we have the solution for you. Toilet laxative, you give it to the toilet, and it will never poop again. Finally, now you can take a crap without having to worry about the toilet taking a crap too. Order now and get a second set of laxatives free. Hi guys, my name is PappyAnimate2012, and you should subscribe to my channel. Hey. You can't promote your own channel during your own video. People will just subscribe if they want to. You will watch the Wasit Wasit Tiofila. So yeah, subscribe right now please. Hello, and welcome back to Get Unrounded Trivia. It is now time for another question. Why the actual? Is there a BTS meal at McDonald's now? Because humanity has failed as a race. Yes, that is absolutely correct. You are ungrounded for 500 years. It is now time for another question. What was the first flavor of Life Saver? Was it cookie? No, the first Life Saver was not cookie. That has never even been a flavor. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 25 years. Was it pineapple? No, it was not pineapple. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 25 years. Was it peppermint? Yes, peppermint was the first flavor of life saver. You are ungrounded for 25 years. 
Okay then, it is now time to move on to yet another question. How many states are there in the USA? Is the answer 50? Yes, there are 50 states in the USA. You are ungrounded for 100 years. Let's do another question now. What is the best TV show ever made? Is the answer Caillou? Yes, you are absolutely correct. Caillou is the best show ever made. You are ungrounded for 10,000 years. Hey, stop being such a suck up for the host. I just want to win this game, even if it means I have to lie about which show is best. Alright, well I'm going to go to a commercial break while I try to think of some harder questions for these people to get wrong. We'll be right back after these messages. Are you tired of boring elevator music? Quiet smooth jazz that just isn't interesting to listen to? Wouldn't it be nice if elevator music was more exciting? Worry no more, because we present you with hardcore elevator music. It blasts hard metal music at a very loud volume at you when you ride the elevator. Hardcore elevator music brings spice to a new head. I am going to walk through a graveyard at midnight on Friday the 13th for absolutely no reason at all. Oh no, what the heck is that? I suddenly feel very unsafe, like I might die or something. Bubs E dies, the movie, coming soon to a theater near you. Thumbs up guy, how dare you make such a bad and pointless commercial, you are fired. Hello, and welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia, I'm just gonna jump right back into things now. How many times did I blink today? Is the answer zero? No, I don't blink zero times a day, that's the terrible answer. You are grounded 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 for 200 years. <coughs> Does anyone else want to try and answer this question? Time's up, the answer is 16,923. Now I am going to punish you all for not guessing that one. Hey, you can't just do that. It's not fair. Yes, that question was impossible, and you just grounded us without us even answering. Too bad, I'm the host, so what I say goes, and besides, this isn't the first time this has happened on the show. You did this in episode 2, Boris. Yeah, but the difference is that you're a kid, so I don't need to have a reason to ground you, whereas you can't ground adults without a reason. Why don't we just ground Caillou and get this stupid show over with? What? You can't ground me, I'm the host, you don't have that much power. If all three of us combine our grounding powers, then we can still do it even if you're the host. Ready guys? Oh 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 Hello everyone, and I'm back in my rightful place as host of Get Ungrounded Trivia. Let's just get right back into things with one more question. Breathe and you instantly get his question right. Wow, you are both breathing. Good job, that means both of you are ungrounded for 100,000 years. Well, 
That's the end of today's episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia. Our contestants are all ungrounded for the first time in the show's history. Have a good night and stay ungrounded. Greetings, and welcome to the fifth episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia. This is a special episode because people voted for which contestant they wanted, and three votes were randomly picked. So let's just see who the contestants for today are. Up first, we have Pep the Pig, who got quite a few votes from our viewers. Up next we have Alia, who got two votes from people who just really want me to lose all my brain cells today. And finally, we have Kermit the Frog who only got one vote but was lucky enough to get picked by the wheel of names. Hey, Kermit is looking a little strange today, but whatever. The rules are the same as always, you will be asked a series of trivia questions, get it right and you're ungrounded for a few years, get it wrong and you're grounded, time to go. What creature are goldfish crackers shaped like? If you think you know the answer to this question, buzz in and tell it to me. Okay, Alyak, what is the answer to this question? And the Alyak and the Alyak and the Alyak and the Alyak. No, Alyak, that makes no sense at all. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 10 years. There is still more time. Does anyone else want to try and answer this question? Okay, Kermit, what is the answer? Is the answer goldfish? Yes, Kermit. Goldfish are shaped like goldfish. You are ungrounded for 10 years. Time to move on to another question now. What are the two most important spreadable ingredients used when making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I'm going to pull a lizard out of my ear. I like chocolate milk with cheese. No, well, yeah, those are not the two ingredients used when making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 50 years. Is it mustard and horseradish? No Peppa Pig. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are not made using mustard and horseradish. That sounds very gross. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 50 years. Is it peanut butter and jelly? Yes Kermit. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are indeed made using peanut butter and jelly. You are ungrounded for 50 years. Now it is time to do another question. What is the name of Caillou's blonde babysitter on the Caillou TV show? I want to touch her in the butt because what are the two most important spreadable ingredients used when making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? No, well, yeah, that is not the name of Caillou's babysitter. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 100 years. Is the answer Barney the Dinosaur? No Peppa, Barney the Dinosaur is not Caillou's babysitter, nor is he blonde. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 100 years. Is it Madison? No Kermit, it isn't Madison either. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 100 years. Nobody got that one. Caillou's blonde babysitter is named Julie. I guess people don't know of any Caillou characters who don't appear in Go Animate very much. Anyways guys, it is now time for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. Yay! Elmo is beating Caillou at basketball by 50 points. Caillou is very bad at basketball. <laughs> is your friend being a sore winner at basketball? Do you wish you could just get him to stop at any cost possible? Worry no more, because we present to you our newest invention, the Grounding Hotline. Just give it a call to have their parents instantly come and ground them. Just give us a call at 1-800-GROUND-DELMO now and we'll take care of things for you. Call now, only $100 per second. Airplane that does this. No, of course not, because then you'd be dead. That's why instead of getting on a plane to make the 10 hour trip across the ocean, you should ride a bike there instead. Mike's bikes, they won't randomly burst into flames for no reason. 
I'm really tired, I think I'll take a nap. Invasion of the Bed Bunnies, now streaming only on VN Plus. Hey folks, welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia. Time for the next question. How do you pronounce strawberry shortcake? Strawberry, 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 strawberry sheet cake. Noel Yak, that is not the correct pronunciation. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 50 years. Is it strawberry shortcake? Yes, Papa. That is how you pronounce strawberry shortcake. You are ungrounded for 50 years. Alrighty then. Let us now move on to another question. According to WikiHow, what is the best way to turn a Furby evil? I'm a race car driver. I'm gonna go around the turn and crash into the pudding. Oh no. My voice is Jennifer. Wa Noel Yak, that is not correct. Although to be fair, having to listen to you talk for a while would turn anyone evil, so I guess you're right, you're ungrounded for 100 years. It is now time to go to another question. What was the first album released by Mike Oldfield? I put my pie in your Washington machine that does clothes and IT turned into a baseball stadium played by a NTS named Johnny Johnny Yes Pop a real not fake wa Noel Yak, that is not the correct answer. In fact, it is not even close to being the correct answer. You are grounded 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 for 1000 years. Was it Baby by Justin Bieber? No, Baby by Justin Bieber is not a Mike Oldfield album. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 1,000 years. I am going to put a cucumber in my mouth and IT will be salsa cucumber. I want to go to school on Mars because the moon has a poo poo monkey. Wha Noel Yak, you already buzzed in and got this answer wrong. You're not allowed to answer twice. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for another 1,000 years. Noel Yak, that's enough, I'm not going to let you answer for a third time, you are grounded 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 for another thousand years. Alright, I'm just gonna take the executive decision to go on a commercial break in order to stop all Yak from repeatedly buzzing in 10 billion times for a single question. Episode 5 of Get Ungrounded Trivia will be right back after these messages. Hello, this is the police, we would like to bring to your attention, that Germit the Frog has been missing since yesterday, and the strange looking imposter has been seen in his place. If you see this Germit imposter, then please let us know, he is not the real Germit, and he is very dangerous. Thank you for watching, and have a good night. Hum, I don't know what I'm doing in this stranger's house, I think I might be lost. Mwah, uh, uh. Don't go into a random stranger's house or you will be eaten by a giant plant. This is a proven fact. Do not attempt to prove it wrong. Hey, that's not true. I go into stranger's houses all the time, and I've never once been eaten by a plant. Stop lying on TV. No 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 no. What the heck did I just tell you, you freaking idiot? Is there something really cool in this stranger's house? I keep seeing people come in here and they never seem to want to leave. You know what? Screw this. I'm done trying to keep people safe. Welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia. Hey, wait a second. Isn't that the dangerous Kermit imposter that the commercial warned us about? Stop right there. You're coming with us. We're going to lock you up in jail forever, you fake imposter. Hello, I'm back to host the final question after Boris got shot off into space by the evil Kermit imposter. All of our contestants are gone, so we'll just have to bring in three new ones. Up first we have our returning champion. 
a giant tomato. Up next is another tomato, because we really can't find anything else at such short notice. And finally, a third giant tomato as our last contestant. You might have noticed a pattern by now. Anyway, let's just get on with our last question of the day. What is zero plus zero? Time's up. The answer is zero. Anyways guys, thanks for watching the fifth episode of Get Some Grounded Trivia. Everyone is grounded. Have a good night, and stay ungrounded. What's up guys? Welcome to episode 6 of Get Ungrounded Trivia. I'm your host Boris. Time to meet our contestants for our show today. Just like the last time, you guys all voted for one contestant who you wanted to be on the show, and they were all chosen randomly. Actually, some people chose three contestants because they don't know how to read the rules, but whatever. Anyways, first we have Greg Hefley, the wimpiest kid around, he only got one vote, but he still got chosen by the wheel of names. And now we have the Gruffalo, who also only got one vote, if you don't know who he is, then you are not alone. And finally, we have Elmo's dad, who also only got one vote, and anyone who says it's not Elmo's real dad will be grounded. Alright, by this point, I'm sure you all understand how this show works, but I will go ahead and explain it anyway. You will be asked a series of questions. You will be ungrounded for several years if you get the question right, but if you get it wrong, you will be grounded 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 for several years. Now let's start it up. True or false, pizza is a food. If you think you know the answer to this question, then buzz in and answer it. Okay Gruffalo, what is your answer? Incorrect. The answer is not false, you must not be from around here. You are grounded 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 for 10 years. Is the answer true? Good job Greg Hefley, the answer is true. Pizza is indeed a food, you are ungrounded for 10 years. Alrighty then. Now we shall move on to question number two. How many eyes does the average bee have? Is the answer two eyes? No Greg, bees do not typically have two eyes. You are grounded 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 for 20 years. Hey, but I watched the bee movie and they all had two eyes. What's up with that? Gee, it's almost like the bee movie and Barry B. Benson are not real. Who would have thought? Now shut up. Does anyone else want to try and tell me how many eyes bees have? Is the answer six? No Elmo's dad. The answer is not six eyes either. You are grounded 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 for 20 years. This one is still up in the air if the Gruffalo wants to try and answer it. I am going to eat some honey out of a bee's butt. <laughs> No, the answer is not. I am going to eat some honey out of a bee's butt. Ha 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 ha. You're grounded 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 for 20 years. Nobody got that one. The answer is that typically bees have five eyes. Now let us go to another question. On what day is Boxing Day celebrated? Is the answer the 26th of December? Yes, Boxing Day is celebrated on December 26th. You are ungrounded for 50 years. Alright, well, I think it's time for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. Hey mom, I'm hungry and I want a snack, but I don't know what to have. Oh really? Then why don't you have some Peppa Pig Bites? Peppa Pig Bites taste great and are made with real pigs. And they are also a very good source of protein. Wow mom, these are really yummy. Peppa Pig Bites, 
Buy them today at your local grocery store. I am going to stab someone with the world's smallest knife. <laughs> Do not break the law. This message sponsored by the police. Are you playing Mario Party but having a very boring time? In that case, you should try Nintendo's newest party game, Mario Party. It's just like the regular game. But this time there's a lot of fighting in it. Welcome back to Get Unground at Trivia. Now it is time to jump right back into the swing of things with another question. What does Pot of Greed do? Nobody knows what Pot of Greed does. It is an international mystery that will never be solved. No Greg Hepfley, that is not true. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. No way. You're kidding me. There's no way that you know what Pot of Greed does. Nobody does. That is not true Greg. Now shut up and let someone else answer this question correctly. Pot of Greed allows you to draw two cards from your deck. Good job Elmo's dad. Pot of Greed allows you to draw two cards, you are ungrounded for 50 years. Okie dokie, it is now time to do another question. What is the name of the first episode of Spongebob? No Gruffalo, the first Spongebob episode was not poopy 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 poopy. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Is the answer help wanted? Yes Greg, the first Spongebob episode was help wanted. You are ungrounded for 100 years. Hope you're ready for another question. Because we got one coming up right now. Wait, hang on a second. This isn't a question. This is just a picture of Mr. Krabs. Ah, that's better. What is the capital of Argentina? Is the answer San Salvador? No cookie monsters dad. The capital of Argentina is not San Salvador. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. It's not too late to answer this one. Does anyone else want it? Time's up. The capital of Argentina is Buenos Aires, and nobody seemed to know that one. Hopefully someone will know the next question which is coming up right now. What does the maximum number of players an NBA team can have? Is the answer 5? No Greg, the answer is not 5. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. What? But only 5 players are ever on the court. Yeah, but that doesn't mean a team can't have more players on the bench. And please stop arguing with me every time you get a question wrong. It's really annoying. Is the answer 15? Yes, NBA basketball teams are allowed to have up to 15 players on them. You are ungrounded for 50 years. Okay then, well I think it's time for another quick commercial break. We will be right back after these messages. Yay, I finally got the new PS5. I'm so excited. Oh wait, I just remembered that I don't have any games to play on it. Because there aren't any good games on the PS5 yet. What a disappointment. Wait, Elmo has a PS5 game for you to play, and it is the best game ever made. Wow Elmo, tell me more about this new game. Elmo's number Journey HD Remastered is a remake of the classic Nintendo 64 game, with improved visuals, better audio, and more of the Elmo you all know and love. It's the best game. Wow Elmo, this game is amazing. I am going to buy 500 copies of this game and then spend the rest of my life doing nothing but playing Elmo's Numbered Journey HD Remastered. 
Elmo's number journeying to Blu-ray Master. Buy it now before Bubsy buys every copy in existence. Time to go to Japan, because I'm a massive weeaboo. Oh wait, I don't know how to speak Japanese. Now I will never get to buy 50 anime girl body pillows and then get a cute Japanese girlfriend. Wow. Hey, I speak Japanese. I can help you out here. Really? You can? Well, I was going to, but you smell really stinky, and I don't want to be around you any longer, so bye. Holy crap, did I just get dissed by thumbs up guy of all people? Time for me to watch some television. Hey, why is there a pumpkin in my seat? Now I can't sit down and watch TV, dang it. Here, take this. Guns, great for getting rid of unwanted pumpkins. Hello folks, and welcome back to Get Unground at Trivia. Now it is time to finish things up with our final question of the night. What is the largest urban area in the United Kingdom? Is the answer Paris? No Greg, Paris is in France, not the United Kingdom. You are grounded 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 for 1000 years. What? That's not true. Paris is in the United Kingdom. You know what? Screw this. I'm tired of you arguing with me every time you give me a stupid answer. Prepare to be punished even further. What? You can't do that to me. Yes I can. I can do whatever I want because this is my show, and for questioning my authority, I will give you an even greater punishment. I am going to do on a snowboard and then make Abraham Lincoln ride it down Mount Rushmore. No, the answer is not I am going to poop on a snowboard and then make Abraham Lincoln ride it down Mount Rushmore. You are grounded 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 for 1000 years. Okay, this question is still up for grabs. Will Elmo's dad get it correct? Time's up. The answer was Greater London Belt Up Area. Nobody got that one right. Anyways guys, that is it for today's episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia. Elmo's dad has actually managed to get himself ungrounded, which is a very rare occurrence on this show. I hope you all have a good night, and stay ungrounded. everyone, and it's finally time for episode 7 of Get Ungrounded Trivia. Let's meet our contestants for today. As usual, you all submitted the name of one character who you wanted to be picked, and then three of them were chosen at complete random, so let's see who they were. Up first we have a copy of Madden 64. I have no idea what kind of sense that makes, but it got one vote, so okay. Up next we have Pappy Anime 2012's belly button. No, not Pappy himself, just his belly button for some reason. And finally, we have Derek Chauvin. Seriously guys? Why would you vote for him? Oh well. He got one vote. Anyways guys, let me explain the rules, you will be asked a series of questions, you will be ungrounded for every correct answer, but grounded for every wrong answer. Let's go. What is the name of an island country located in East Asia that became a member of the United Nations in 1956? Is the answer China? No Derek Chauvin, the answer is not China. You are now grounded 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 for 10 years. Is the answer Japan? Papi, you aren't even a contestant, your belly button is, not you, so your answer doesn't count. Whoops, sorry about that. This question is still up for grabs if Madden 64 or Papi's belly button would like to try and answer it. Time's up, the answer is Japan. Nobody got that one. Now let's move on to another question. 
Wait, Boris, stop. What is it? Can't you see we're light in the middle of an episode right now? Somebody broke into the set last night and messed with our scripts. Those aren't even the right contestants that were supposed to be on the show today. Hey, you're right. Those aren't the right contestants for today's show. Someone messed with the script so that we'd put the wrong people on. The correct contestants are waiting back here. Why don't you introduce them all properly this time? All right, sounds good. Let's give this another try. But I swear, if we figure out who messed up our script, I'm gonna mess them up real good. You mark my words. Anyways guys, I guess we'll have to go on a quick commercial break while we get this all sorted out. We'll be right back after these messages, and then hopefully it'll all be normal. Oh, now look at you. You've graduated from school. I bet you're really happy and ready to head to the bar where you can drink to your heart's content. Well, go right ahead and drink. Because here at Kentucky Fried Bunnies, we bring you the new Drunken Bunny, a bunny fried in beer batter and served with fries. Come to Kentucky Fried Bunny and try our new Drunken Bunny for only $8.99. But you'd better hurry, because it's a limited time item. So come on down and get one before they're gone. Man, ain't this a common sight? A go animate video where Caillou gets grounded. Don't you wish that there was something that would shake up this old, stale formula? Well, we now introduce our newest series, Caillou Gets Grounded. In Japan, this is very clearly a dramatic and radical change to the old formula of Kalu Gets Grounded. It's the same show you all know and love, only this time it's more suitable for weebs. The response we're getting from anime fans is amazing, all the weebs are in love with our new series. Caillou Gets Grounded in Japan, now streaming only on Crunchyroll. Alright, I think I will be alone here. Now I can relax and get some peace and quiet in a place where nobody will bother me. Elmo is naked. Elmo is very happy to see somebody. We're not gonna say much about this, but let's just say that this next episode of Sesame Street is about to get a little bit weird. Don't miss it. Welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia. This time, we're going to introduce the real contestants after some troublemaker messed up the script. Up first we have Lincoln Loud, who got a decent number of votes from our viewers. Up next we have Eric Cartman from South Park, who got a couple of votes. And finally we have Kirby the Vacuum from Brave Little Toaster, who only got one vote, and frankly I have no idea who he is. I'd tell you how to play the game. But then I'd just be wasting even more time, and I'm sure you guys already know how to play this game. So let's just start with a question. What is Garfield's favorite food? It's the ant lasagna. Yes Eric Cartman, Garfield's favorite food is lasagna. You are ungrounded for 30 years. That was an easy one. The next question might not be as easy. What number is represented by the Roman numeral XIV? Is the answer 16? No Lincoln loud. XIV is not 16. You are grounded 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 for 10 years. Is the answer 54? No Cookie Monster's dad. The answer is not 54. You are grounded 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 for 10 years. Hey! Why did you call me Cookie Monster's dad? I am very clearly not Cookie Monster's dad. Wait, what? Oh you son of a gun. That troublemaker from earlier changed your name on the script to Cookie Monster's dad. I swear this is the second episode in a row that he did that. Anyways Kirby, this question is still up for grabs if you want it. Is the answer 14? Yes. The Roman numeral XIV represents the number 14, you are ungrounded for 10 years. Alrighty then, hope you're ready for the next question, because it's coming at you right now. Which continent on Earth has the highest average elevation? Is the answer Australia? No Eric Cartman. The continent with highest average elevation is not Australia. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Is the answer China? 
No Lincoln Loud. The answer is not China, because China is a country, not a continent. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. <laughs> Alright Kirby, once again, this question is yours if you want it. Time's up. The answer is that the continent with the highest average elevation is Antarctica. Nobody got that one, but maybe they will have more luck with the next question. Should you subscribe to Pappy Anime 2012? Is the answer yes? You should subscribe. No, Lincoln. You should not subscribe to Pappy Anime 2012. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for one billion years. Hey, wait a second, that can't be right. Yep, the troublemaker messed up the script again, and there's only one person I know who would want you to not subscribe to Pappy, so the troublemaker has to be thumbs up guy, I swear, when I get my hands on that boy thumbs up guy, it will not be a pretty sight. But Boris, the show isn't over yet, and you're leaving, what are we going to do? Find someone else to host the rest of it. Why not just ask that stupid old guy who keeps subbing in for me when I leave? But the old man is away on vacation. There is literally nobody here right now who can host the show properly. I don't care. You'll just have to make do with whoever you can find. Alright guys. Well it's time for a commercial break while we try and probably fail to find someone good enough to host this show. We'll be right back after these messages. Alright. Time to use Windows XP for some reason even though it's 2021. Hey, why is it freezing up on me like this? How could my computer be so crappy? It's only 20 years old. Excuse me, but I think I have a solution for you. Oh yeah? And what's this solution? Install Total Jambo on your computer. No, I am not going to install Protogen on my computer. Why, don't install protogens. This message brought to you by the department of telling you not to do things that nobody was actually planning on doing in the first place. to push over my refrigerator for absolutely no reason at all. Ha 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 ha. Oh no, what have I done? Why? Hey, I know how to fix this. Wait, really? You do? No, I don't. Goodbye. Why? Don't push over your fridge you frickin' idiot. It is time to return the vending machine golden green goose to answer the potato salad subway fresh and my voice is Jennifer Wa you soup with the Ludwig von Beethoven inside of a rotting volcano whose name is Charlie? Is the answer yes? The pickle jar is going to use the marker to explain the reason that the rubber duck is so yummy to eat and that is the question of the sticky note with several numbers written on it. Okay, well now it is time to go bowling for long grass cutters that have yellow handles and electric motors that use nut or butter as fuel. So now have a pumpkin pie that is skyrim. Grounded Game Show. Let's meet our contestants. Up first we have Dora. Up next we have Mario. 
And finally we have the hacker. Let me explain the rules, you're all grounded. Alright, well that's it for today's episode of the Get Grounded Game Show. I hope you all have a good night, and stay grounded. everyone, and welcome to Get Ungrounded Trivia Episode 8, I'm your host Boris. Now let's meet the contestants that were randomly picked after being voted. Up first we have Talking Tom, who got a couple of votes. Up next we have Huckle Cat from Richard Scary, who got a grand total of one vote. And finally, we have Patrick Starr, who got a vote or two and will probably be the show's smartest contestant ever. Also, I am lying. The rules are simple, answer a question right and you're ungrounded, and get it wrong and you'll be grounded. Now let's jump right into things with a question. What is the name of Mario's green brother? If you think you know this one, then buzz in and answer it. Is the answer Wario? No Patrick, Wario is yellow, and he is not Mario's brother, you are grounded 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 for 10 years. It's not too late to answer this one, does anyone else know it? Is the answer Luigi? Yes Huckle Cat, Luigi is Mario's green brother, you are ungrounded for 10 years. Okay, time to move on to another question now. Name one ingredient commonly used in pepperoni pizza. Is the answer egg salad sandwiches? No Patrick Star. Egg salad sandwiches are not typically used when making pepperoni pizza. You are grounded 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 for 5 years. Is the answer pepperoni? Yes talking Tom. Pepperoni pizza does in fact usually have pepperoni on it. You are ungrounded for 5 years. Okay then, those two questions were really easy. So let's kick it up a notch with this next question. What year was Bass Pro Shops founded? Is the answer 1954? No talking Tom. Bass Pro Shops was not founded in 1954. You are grounded 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 for 20 years. Is the answer 1989? No Huckle Cat. The answer is not 1989 either. You are grounded 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 for 20 years. This one is still in the air if Patrick wants to answer it, but I almost kind of hope he doesn't. Is the answer Wumbo and the study of Wumbo known as Wumbology? No, Wumbo and the study of Wumbo known as Wumbology is not the correct answer Patrick. You are grounded 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 for 20 years. Nobody got that one. The correct answer is that Bass Pro Shops was founded in 1972. Alright, well I think it's time to go on a quick commercial break, we'll be right back after these messages. He's everyone's favorite Pappy Anime 2012 character. Hi, it's me, Thumbs Up Guy, be sure to give this video a like. And now he's getting his own series. I am going to give this video a like while I sit on this train. Don't miss the new adventures of Thumbs Up Guy. Coming soon to a channel near you. Are you feeling sick? Do you not feel able to do any of the things you want to do? Do you wish you could feel better at any cost? Well then come down to Dr. Jack's medical office, and he will help out. Dr. Jack's medical office, because you can't be sick when you're dead. Hey look, I found a leprechaun, time to make him give me all his gold. No, you cannot have it, now time for you to be killed. No 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 no. Don't talk to strangers with guns. Hello, and welcome back to episode 8 of Get Ungrounded Trivia. Hey, wait a second, why are all the scores at zero? Ah, uh, that's much better. Now let's get on with the next question already. Which episode of Star Wars did Jar Jar debut? Is the answer episode 69? No Patrick, Jar Jar did not debut in episode 69, because they haven't made 69 episodes yet. 
I'll they'll give Disney a couple of years and I'm sure they'll be there before you know it. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. Is the answer episode 1? Yes Huckle Cat, Jar Jar debuted in Star Wars episode 1, you are ungrounded for 50 years. Okie dokie then, that question is history, now we will move swiftly along to a new one. What sport is typically played at Wyala Country Club? Is the answer underwater chili dog eating in space? No Patrick, the answer is not underwater chili dog eating in space, you are grounded 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 for 100 years. Is the answer basketball? No talking Tom, basketball is not what YLI Country Club is known for, you are grounded 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 for 100 years. There is still time left for Huckle Cat to answer this one and snag it. Time's up, the answer is that the sport commonly played at YLI Country Club is golf, nobody knew that one, so maybe they will do better with the next one. How many toes does the average human have? Come on guys, somebody answer this one, it's super easy. Time's up, the answer is that humans usually have 10 toes. How on earth did nobody get that one? Hey, did you make me consider that literally none of the contestants are humans? Shut up. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now let's go to another question now. Which planet in our solar system has the most moons? Is the answer Jupiter? Yes, Talking Tom. Jupiter has the most moons of any planet in our solar system with at least 67 of them, you are ungrounded for 100 years. Alrighty then, well it looks like it's time for a quick commercial break, we'll be right back after these messages. Blah blah blah, ramble ramble ramble, blah blah blah. Oh no, this meeting is so boring. I think I'm going to fall asleep. Now introducing the pocket alarm, it will explode in your pocket when you get sleepy in order to prevent you from sleeping. The pocket alarm, because you can't be sleepy when you're dead. Hey, you're totally ripping off my slogan. No 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 no. Hello, I'm the network manager around here. And I'm here to do an exclusive interview with Thumbs Up Guy in order to promote his new series. It's great to be here everyone. What can fans expect from your new upcoming series? You can expect it to be the funniest thing you've ever seen in your life. Sounds great. Now I have just one question that the fans are all dying to know. Oh really? What's the question? Did you subscribe to Peppy Animate 2012? No, I did not subscribe to Peppy. Thumbs up guy? How dare you not subscribe to Peppy? Thoughts it? I am now cancelling your new series. You are now fired. <laughs> So yeah, the new Adventures of Thumbs Up Guy has been cancelled. Now go away. Hi, and welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia Episode 8, where it is now time for our final question of the night, so let's get ready and go for it. What is the most plentiful element in the human body? Is the answer ice cream? No Patrick. Ice cream is not the most plentiful element in the human body. You are grounded 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 for 500 years. Is the answer water? No Huckle Cat. Water is not even an element. You are grounded 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 for 500 years. This is it. Talking Tom has a chance to win it all with this final question, assuming he wants to answer it. 
Time's up. The answer is that the most plentiful element in the human body is oxygen. Alrighty then. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. Unsurprisingly, everyone is grounded this time. I hope you enjoyed the episode 8 of Get Ungrounded Trivia. I wish you all a good night and stay ungrounded. Trivia Episode 9. I'm your host Boris. Let's meet our contestants for today, as randomly picked from our viewer suggestions. Up first we have Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat. I hope he doesn't get too violent on me. Up next we have Bowser Jr., who unceremoniously killed Baby Bowser and Koopa Kid, probably. And finally we have Yellow Horse. I'll be honest, I have no idea who on earth this is. The rules are simple. Get a question right and you're ungrounded, but you'll be grounded if you get it wrong. Let's get right into it now. What is the first letter of the alphabet? If you think you know the answer, then buzz in and say it. Okay Liu Kang, what is your answer? Is the answer B? No Liu Kang, the first letter of the alphabet is not B, duh. You are grounded 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 for 10 years. What? That makes me so angry, very very angry. Just deal with it, because you're still wrong. Is it answer A? Yes Bowser Jr. The first letter of the alphabet is A. You are ungrounded for 10 years. Alright, easy question number 1 is done. Now let's move on to the next one. Which character from Street Fighter 2 has yellow hair and shoots sonic booms? Is the answer Scorpion? No Liu Kang. Scorpion is not a Street Fighter 2 character, nor does he throw sonic booms. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. What? Another wrong answer? That makes me even more angry. Gee, it's almost like it's your fault. Now let's move on. Is the answer Guile? Yes Yellow Horse. Guile shoots sonic booms and his yellow hair, you are ungrounded for 50 years. Now let us move on to another question. Where are you allowed to request contestants for Get Ungrounded Trivia? You can just leave a comment anywhere on Pappy Animate's channel. No Liu Kang, that's not right. We literally just put out a video covering how to do this properly. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Okay, now I'm extremely angry, I swear, if you ground me one more time, then you will be sorry. I'll stop grounding you when you stop getting questions wrong, you idiot. You can only request them on the community tab. Yes yellow horse, you are only allowed to request contestants on the community tab anywhere else and they won't be counted. You are ungrounded for 100 years. Alright, well I think it's time to go on a quick commercial break, we'll be right back after these messages. Alright, he's got the ball and is traveling towards the court, could this be the end? Oh no, we forgot to pay our cow insurance. Now a cow has appeared and is preventing the game from proceeding, what a shame, if only we paid our cow insurance. Buy cow insurance or cows will show up when you least expect it. We here at Get Ungrounded Trivia are here to remind you that Christmas is getting extremely close, and you'd better buy some presents right now, because otherwise you're bad. Oh stop with this, it's the middle of August. Christmas isn't even close to happening. Stop showing Christmas commercials. Shut up. I am going to teach you an important lesson about the meaning of Christmas. No 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 no. There. Are you ready to accept the Christmas commercial yet? Never. Stop showing us Christmas commercials. They're annoying. Ow 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 ow. So yeah, as we were saying, Merry Christmas. Ho ho ho. Holly Jolly blah blah blah. 
I am in an airport, and I think I know of a funny word to say while I'm in the airport. Bum 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 bum. Oh no now I'm in jail way. Welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia Episode 9. Now let's stop wasting time and get back into another question. Who was the winner of the Daytona 500 in 2016? Is the answer Squidward Tentacles? No Liu Kang, Squidward Tentacles did not win the Daytona 500 in 2016, because he is not even a NASCAR driver. You are grounded 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 for. Okay, stop right there, you've grounded me for the last time, and now you are going to pay the price. Hey, what are you doing? Get back into the contestant area. Hello, and welcome to a new game show, it's called Get Killed Trivia. It's just like the normal show, but you get killed if you get a question wrong, so let's go. What is the name of the white liquid that comes out of a cow's udders and is commonly drank by people? Is the answer milk? No Boris, the answer is not milk, cows don't make milk you dummy. What, that is totally right, cows do make milk. Shut up Boris, you're still wrong, for getting that question wrong, you will be killed by being thrown into the baked bean dimension. Wait, what? The baked bean dimension? What the heck does that mean? No 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 Does anyone else want to try and answer this question? Time's up. The answer is that the drinkable white liquid that comes from a cow's udders is called strawberry Kool-Aid. Now let's move on to another question. How many cucumbers does Bob the Builder eat every day? Nobody answered that one, so I will just kill them both anyway. Why? No 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 no. Well, all of our contestants are dead, so I guess our show is over now. Wait, what do you mean the host and all of our contestants are gone? Our show can't be over. We still have a few minutes to go. Well, I guess we'll have to go on a commercial break while we get this mess sorted out. We'll be right back after these messages. Oh boy, I wonder if I got any cool packages in the mail today. Aw oh dang it, I didn't get anything. Do you wish you got a cool package every month? Now introducing Gamer's Loot Box. Gamer's Loot Box arrives every month and has a bunch of random video games for you to play. Oh boy, I wonder what games are in my gamer's loot box for this month. Okay, we have a copy of my Stop Smoking Coach for the Nintendo DS. What? Another copy of my Stop Smoking Coach? But I don't even smoke. Okay, what the heck, all three of my games this month were my Stop Smoking Coach, just why? Gamers Loot Box. Subscribe today and start getting awesome games delivered right to your door. Round 1. Fight! My pumpkin is a great source of vitamin A and is an iconic Halloween item. There's no way you can find a food that tops this. Cake is better than pumpkins, so you should go out and buy one right now. I am going to bomb the White House. <laughs> My voice is Jennifer. <laughs> yay, 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 yay. Now I am a domestic terrorist and also in the Aliak, in the Aliak, in the Aliak, in the Aliak. <laughs> Don't bomb the White House.
Welcome to Get Ungrounded Trivia Episode 10. I'm your host Boris. Now let's meet our contestants for today, which were all voted by our viewers and then randomly picked. Up first, we have Thomas the Tank Engine, who is a character we get votes for all the time. Up next, we have Luigi from the Super Mario games, another fairly popular character. And finally, we have Carl Weezer from Jimmy Neutron. And yes, I am going to finish that crosshand. The rules are the same as always. Get a question right and you're ungrounded, but you will get grounded if you get it wrong. Now let's get started with a question. What is the primary difference between a hamburger and a cheeseburger? If you know this one, then buzz in and answer it. Is the answer cheese? Yes Carl, the main difference between hamburgers and cheeseburgers is that cheeseburgers have cheese, you are ungrounded for 5 years. The easy question is now over, so now let's go to question number 2. What is the capital of China? Is the answer Beijing? Yes Thomas the Tank Engine, Beijing is the capital of China, you are ungrounded for 10 years. Cool, there goes question number 2, and by some miracle, nobody is grounded yet. So let's see how they handle the next question. Determine the trace of the following matrix. Time's up. The answer is that the trace of the matrix is 4 plus negative 5 plus 0 equals negative 1. How can none of you get that one? Anyways, now it's time for us to go on a quick commercial break, we'll be right back after these messages. When your dad beats you for being disobedient, but the cookies have an awesome ingredient, Chips Ahoy is here for it. For years, our Mexican poop man has been dancing in front of people in their homes in order to encourage the poop to come out. But what do you do when you go into public and can't easily bring the Mexican Poop Man with you? Now introducing our latest product, the Pocket Mexican Poop Man. He's just like the original, but now much smaller, and easier to bring with you. By now, only 999999999999999 dollars. Haha, uh -huh. look, it's a subway. Subways are so stupid and a pointless method of transportation. Ha 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 ha. Why? Never insult a subway. Welcome back to episode 10 of Get Ungrounded Trivia. I hope you're all ready for a new question, because here it comes right now. What year did Disney's Aladdin release? The answer 1994? No Carl Weezer, Aladdin did not come out in 1994, you are grounded 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 for 50 years. It's not too late, does anyone else want to try and answer this question? Is the answer 1990? No Thomas, that's not right either, you are grounded 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 for 50 years. One more chance, does Luigi want to try and answer this one? Time's up. The answer is that Disney's Aladdin came out in 1992. Now let's move on to another question. This is a multiple choice question. Who was the only pod racer to die during Star Wars Episode 1? Answer C. Sebaba. No, Carl. The answer is not Sebaba. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 100 years. Is the answer B. Gascano? No, Thomas. Gascano didn't die either. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 100 years. Okay, this question is still up in the air for a little bit longer. Time's up. The answer is A. Rats Tyrell was the only one to die during the pod racing scene in Star Wars Episode 1. Let's go to the next question now. What was John Mendez's role in the CIA? Is the answer 
Was she the chief of disguise? Yes, Thomas. Donna Mendez was chief of disguise for the CIA. You are ungrounded for 500 years. Finally someone got a question right. Time to move on to the next one. What is the hottest planet in our solar system? Is the answer Venus? Oh come on Luigi. You ruined the joke where you do nothing and then somehow win anyway because you're Luigi. But yes, that is the correct answer. You are ungrounded for 100 years. Alright then, well it is now time to go up to another commercial break, we'll be right back after these messages, and then we will do the grand finale. Hum, I want people to think I'm cool. Oh, I know, I'll start smoking. There, here we go. Hey lady, do you think I'm cool now? No, you smell like crap and are blowing smoke at me, that's not cool. Dang it, she doesn't think I'm cool. Well. I guess I'd better stop smoking now. Oh no, now I'm addicted and can't stop smoking. Dang it. Time to watch this new movie. I hope it doesn't suck. Wow, that was a really bad movie. I can't believe they could make such a bad movie. Go complain about bad movies on shows that are utterly pathetic in Spid Drivel. Our new website, at www.stupid.com. Remember my uh, farty? The world's worst smelling party game. Now, Mario Farty is coming back. With Mario Farty 2, your favorite game is back again, and this time in stupid little costumes. Welcome back to Get Unground at Trivia. Normally, this is where we do the last question, but we're doing something different this time. If they want to, contestants can choose to spin the wheel and then get whatever the wheel lands on. But beware, it could be good, but it could also be bad, so watch out. If you want to take a chance and spin the wheel, then please buzz in right now. Okay, looks like everyone buzzed in. So let's start off with Thomas spinning the wheel. Congratulations Thomas, you are ungrounded for 1000 years. Hooray for you. Okay. Now it's Luigi's turn. Too bad Luigi, you are grounded 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 for 100 years, that's not going to help. And finally, it's time for Carl Weezer to spin the wheel. Too bad Carl, you are grounded 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 for 100 years, the wheel doesn't favor everyone. Well, that's it for today's episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia. I hope you enjoyed it and the new twist at the end, have a good night and stay ungrounded. Episode 11 of Get Unground at Trivia, the first episode to take place on our new set, and also an episode made possible by fans. The contestants were chosen by fans, the questions were written by fans, and even the commercials were made by fans. So if you don't like this episode, then you know who to blame. Anyways, let's jump in and introduce our contestants. Up first we have Bob the Tomato, who is actually alive for once. This is something we don't take for granted here. Up next we have Gladion, with his one vote and his stupid hair. Lastly we have Misery from Ruby Gloom, whatever the heck that is. You all know the rules, get questions right and you're ungrounded. Get them wrong and you're grounded. Now let's go.
How many days are there in a year? If you know it, then buzz in and answer it. Okay Bob the tomato, what's the answer? Is it 365? Yes Bob, that is correct. And no, don't go telling me about any of that leap year nonsense, you are ungrounded for 30 years. There goes question 1, but we've got plenty more where that came from, like this one, who were the first astronauts to walk on the moon back in 1969. Was it Alexei Leonov? No misery, that was the first Russian on the moon, not the first person. You are grounded 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 for 10 years. Was it Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin? Yes, lady on, that is correct. You are ungrounded for 10 years. Don't look now, because we have another question coming right up. Which of these soap operas ear the longest? This is a multiple choice question. Is the answer A? No Gladion. The answer is not A. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. Is the answer D? No misery. The answer is not D. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. Is the answer B? No Bob. The answer isn't B either. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. Gee, I wonder what the answer is. What a shocker. It's C. General Hospital. Nobody got that one correct. Anyways, it's time to go on a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. And also, all of these commercials were made by fans. So go check them out. Where is my troublemaking son at? Hey you, are you tired of your troublemaking kid always escaping their punishment? I sure am. My son always manages to escape from me. Then your problems are now over. Introducing the Troublemaker Tracker. This powerful device allows you to easily track down your troublemaking kid, so you can give them what they deserve. No, 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 found no, no. you. And the device is not only good for tracking down troublemakers, but it's also good for giving them punishments on the spot. The punishments include, zapping with laser, freezing with an ice beam, blasting with rockets, hurting them with the force, and even summoning Fred himself. It's concussion time. So what are you waiting for? Buy it right now. Once you have it, it's guaranteed that your troublemaking kids will never get away with it again. Troublemaker Tracker, a product made by Boris. Go animate's best daddy. Are you tired of being grounded? Just say no, it really works. We even made a test to prove it, look. Son, you're grounded for 2000 years, go to your room. No. Wah 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 you're such a meanie craphead. You see? It's completely scam free. So start saying no to being grounded today. This video was made by the makers of Mexican Poop Man and Big Burger. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Are you tired to be bored and lonely all day? Do you want a new friend that sticks with you for the rest of your life? No worries. Introducing The Giant Tomato. The famous tomato from episode 3 of Get Ungrounded Trivia is finally in your home. With it, you can do everything that you can imagine. Including talking, watch TV shows, defeat your enemies, and host a game show with it. Giant Tomato, here's a question for you for one million dollars. Fill in the blank. And no, it's not like Hangman. Correct. The answer is nothing. Congratulations. You win one million dollars. Plus, you're ungrounded. Buy the Giant Tomato today from your local store. The Giant Tomato is not intended for edible usage. It never was. If you eat it, then you're grounded. Welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia Episode 11. Let's jump right back into another question. Who is the lead singer of the band Queen? Was it Freddy Fish? No, Gladion. It was not Freddy Fish, she isn't even real, 
You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Is it Freddy Fazbear? No misery. I swear you guys are getting this wrong on purpose. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. It's not too late. Does Bob the Tomato want to try and get this one? Time's up. The answer is Freddie Mercury. I swear someone should have gotten that one right. So let's just move onwards to another one. What is the first Thomas and Friends DVD released by Anchor Bay in 2001? Come on guys. Someone please at least try to answer this one. Time's up. The answer is best of Thomas. Maybe next question someone will actually bother to try answering it. What will happen if you get this question wrong? Will you be rewarded with a bucket of ice cream and a foot rub? You freaking wish. You are grounded 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 for 500 years. Will you be grounded 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 for 500 years? Yes, Bob. Getting this wrong means you'll be grounded, grounded, grounded for 500 years. You are ungrounded for 500 years. Okie dokie artichokey. Let's do another question now. When did Pappy Anime 2012 create his channel? Was it June 30th, 2020? That is correct, Bob. And what a day that was. You are ungrounded for 1,000 years. All right, it's time to go on another commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages, which were also all created by fans as part of the contest. Where is my cereal? I want cereal. Do you want cereal? Then download the cereal app. The Cereal app will get you cereal if you click on the Get Cereal button, you will see that button if you download the app. What the hell? Download now, available on Google Store. Hi, it's me. Thumbs up guy. Do you want to recall your friends? In that case, go to www.freesubsnet, make them think they'll get a lot of subscribers, like what was shown here. Ugh, I look so much worse in Pokemon. I want to go back to my rapper look. Oh don't feel bad Pappy, just type in this link and you'll get millions of subscribers. Um, okay. Ha ha ha. Get Rickroll. You don't deserve any subscribers. Uh... I love watching Kai U gets grounded on TV, but I don't have a computer so I can't make my own grounded videos. Well good news. Because now there is the Kai Who Gets Grounded playset. Cool. Make your own Kai Who Gets Grounded episodes without the computer. Camera required. Kai you are grounded. The Kai Who Gets Grounded playset comes with everything you see here. Batteries not included. New from a toy store near you. Welcome back to episode 11 of Get Ungrounded Trivia. And no, we didn't forget to increase Bob's score, so ha ha to anyone who already complained about it, now it's wheel time. Same rules as last time, if you want to, you can spin the wheel, which can result in something good or bad, so if you feel lucky, then give it a go. If you don't want to spin the wheel, then please buzz in right now, otherwise, you will spin it. Okay, looks like everyone wants to spin the wheel, so let's start with Bob the Tomato. Congratulations Bob, 
You are ungrounded for 500 years. Okay, up next is Gladion. Good luck. Too bad Gladion. The wheel doesn't favor everyone. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Last but not least, it's Misery's turn. Too bad, you are grounded 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 for 1000 years. Well guys, that's about it for our fan inspired episode 11 of Get Ungrounded Trivia. Thanks again to everyone who submitted commercials and questions. I hope you all have a good night, and stay ungrounded. Trivia episode 12. Because we just don't stop, I'm your host Boris. Now let's meet our contestants which were all voted by fans as usual. Up first we have Kai Lan from Neihao Kai Lan, who likes to teach children Chinese for some reason. Up next we have a copy of FIFA 15 for the Wii, what on earth will they come up with next? And finally we have Buddy Thunderstruck, who looks literally exactly like the real character and I am definitely not lying. The rules are the same as always. You will be asked a series of questions, answer them right to be ungrounded for several years, but answer them wrong and you're grounded, let's go. What language is this question written in? If you think you know the answer, then buzz in and tell me. Is the answer Chinese? No Kai Lan, the answer is not Chinese, you are grounded 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 for 100 years. Is la respuesta espanol? Well FIFA 15, I don't speak Spanish, but I'm pretty sure the answer is not whatever you just said, so you are grounded 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 for 100 years. <coughs> this one is still up for grabs, will Buddy Thunderstruck go for it? Time's up, the answer is English, I can tell we're dealing with a really smart bunch this episode. Now let's move on to another question. What is the hottest planet in the solar system? Is the answer Earth? Nobody. Earth is not the hottest planet in our solar system. You are grounded 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 for 500 years. Es la respuesta me gusta comer granjas lecheras. Come on FIFA 15. I don't speak Spanish, so for all I know. You could be saying complete nonsense or something, you are grounded 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 for 500 years. Okay Kai Lan, you can take this one if you want it. Time's up, the answer is that the hottest planet in our solar system is Venus. Now let's see how you handle the next question. What will probably happen if you pirate Super Mario 64? Will the Wario apparition come out and give you a stroke? No, the Wario apparition isn't real. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. Will you go to jail for stealing? No Kai Lan, that will probably not happen. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. ¿Cuál es la respuesta Mario no come platanos en Roma los martes? No it blow espanol, you are grounded 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 for 50 years. <coughs> Nobody got that one, the answer is that nothing will probably happen at all if you pirate Super Mario 64. Well, that's about all I can take of this nonsense for right now, so let's go on a quick commercial break, we'll be right back after these messages. Elmo is thirsty. Elmo is going to drink all the water at the beach. 
Yay! Now Elmo is not thirsty anymore. Has this ever happened to you? Did you subscribe to Pappy? No. Oh, whoa, 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 Don't worry, we have a solution, the fake subscribe button. It makes people think you're subscribed to someone when you really are not. Did you subscribe to Pappy? Um, yes. Yeah, right. I don't believe that for even a minute. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The fake subscribe button, it doesn't work, and you should instead use the real subscribe button. All right, I will give one dollar for the first person to name what this object is. Is it a pumpkin? Is it a traffic cone? Is it a potato? You are all wrong. This thing is a tomato, and you are all stupid for not getting that right. F1 dollar trivia, coming soon to no way. Welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia Episode 12, where so far nobody has managed to even get a single question right. So let's move on to another one and hope that things improve. What does ice turn into after it melts? Is the answer pizza? No Kylan, ice does not turn into pizza when it melts, what on earth are you thinking? You are grounded 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 for 1000 years. No hablo espanol, solo estoy usando un traductor en línea. Alright, this is getting irritating, FIFA 15, you are grounded 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 for 1000 years. There is still time, will this easy question get a real answer? Time's up. The answer is that melted ice turns into water. You guys really need to go back to first grade. Have fun with this next question that I'm sure nobody will get right. True or false, bunnies eat their own poop. La respuesta es que los conejos comen zanahoria sin nada más. Seriously man, I have no idea what you are even saying. I know you speak Spanish, but surely you at least understand true and false. You are grounded 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 for 10 years. This is a true and false question, so I'm sure you guys will have no trouble guessing. Go on. You have got to be kidding me, you didn't even try to answer this? That's not okay, hey you, buddy thunderstruck, I am forcing you to answer this one. Tell me the answer right now. Um, 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 is the answer 1942? You idiot, that was a true and false question. What are you even doing? Just because that was such a bad answer, you are grounded 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 for 1000 years instead of 10. <coughs> the answer is true, robots do eat their own poop. I have no hope left for any of you guys, but we will move on to another question now anyway. How often should Venus flytraps usually eat flies? Me gusta comer pescado los viernes. Okay, I'm not gonna deal with this anymore. Hey audience, is there anyone out there who speaks Spanish and can help translate this guy? Maybe someone from Mexico. Oh no, it's the Mexican poop man. I really regret asking that now. Great, now the Mexican poop man did his poop dance in front of everyone and now they all pooped all over the stage. This show is a complete and utter disaster. Let's just go on a quick commercial break while we get this sorted out, we'll be right back after these messages, and man, I really need some moonshine. Yay, I love making YouTube videos. Hey, you just made a math error where you didn't subtract 10 points from FIFA 15. How do you even live with yourself? No 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 no. Tired of being made fun of for your math mistakes? Then buy a calculator. 
Despite the fact that these things were first made in the 90s and have extremely primitive technology that is cheap to produce, we're still charging $90 for some reason. Aha, uh -huh. I'm Mickey Mouse, and it's time to bake a cake. Oh no now my cake is burned and my oven is on fire. Man, there sure is a lot of snow here, I sure hope this doesn't turn into a Christmas commercial. No 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 Welcome back to this disaster of an episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia, and since questions are a lost cause with this bunch, let's just move on right to the wheel. As in the previous episodes, you can choose to spin the wheel, it could have something good, but it could also be something bad, and since you guys are all completely hopeless at getting questions right, I highly recommend spinning this wheel, because it could be your only chance to get ungrounded. So please buzz in if you want to spin the wheel. Come on guys, if you don't spin the wheel, you'll be grounded for sure, so just try it. Alright, well it looks like nobody wants to spin the wheel, so I guess that's it. That's the end of Get Ungrounded Trivia Episode 12 which was a massive disaster, because nobody got a single question right. I hope you enjoyed it, because I sure didn't. I hope you all have a good night, and stay ungrounded. Hey, Boris, get on out there, it's time for Get Ungrounded Trivia 13. No, I'm not ready yet, just give me a little more time. Not ready, what? But when will you be ready? Hello everyone, and welcome to- Hey, wait a second, where is the microphone? How is anyone supposed to be able to hear me without a microphone? <laughs> what the heck? Get back here thumbs up guy. Okay, what the heck is this music? It's terrible. What on earth is going on here? Alright, this is getting stupid now. How do you make the mistake of sending Peter Griffin out instead of me? That's it, I need to get to the bottom of all these mistakes. Time to have a talk with the quality control department in the studio. Okay, what on earth is this tomato doing here in quality control? That might explain why there are so many mistakes. Well, I guess all that's left is to find a suitable replacement, however long that will take. Are you looking for some pain? Then come on down to SmackDonald's, and we'll give you some pain. Welcome to SmackDonald's, can I take your order? I'll have a punch please. That'll be $4.99 please. SmackDonald's diverse menu includes many great options, such as sucker punches, noogies, kicks to the ribs, and much much more. We here at SmackDonald's are also perfect for punishment days. That'll be one kick to the groin for the boy, he's been very bad today. SmackDonald's, come on down and get the SmackDown today. Hi guys, I know that this episode of Get Grounded Trivia is premiering on Halloween, but sadly, this episode is not a Halloween special. Nevertheless, here is something spooky to help satiate your appetite for Halloween-related content.
Hey, wait, why is there a candy cane there? Thoughts not spooky. Wait, please don't tell me that this is a... Oh come on, seriously, it's another Christmas commercial? Seriously, I am so freaking done with this place. What's up everyone, it's me Boris. And after many, many delays, it's finally time for Get Ungrounded Trivia episode 13 to start, I swear. This one took way too long, but here it is. Our contestants were all voted by the viewers of this show, so let's introduce them now. Up first we have Arnold Schwartz and Agar, the famous actor from famed movies such as Terminator and Conan the Barbarian. Up next we have Amy from Dragon Tales, whose article on the Dragon Tales wiki has many interesting comments. And next we have Tommy Vercetti from Grand Theft Auto, the Mafia Lord of Vice City. I'm sure you all know the rules to this by now, you just answer questions, every correct answer gets you ungrounded, but every incorrect answer will get you grounded grounded grounded. Now that's enough dilly dallying, we are already very late as it is, we need to get started right away with another question. What number episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia is this? If you think you know the answer to this question, then buzz in and answer it. Is the answer episode 13? Yes Emmy, this is Get Ungrounded Trivia episode 13. Very good, you are ungrounded for 5 years. Now this is a good sign already, we've already done one question and nobody's gotten grounded yet. Hopefully this streak will continue for the next question. How much chocolate does a human need to eat to die from it? Is the answer 1 million chocolate bars? No Tommy, not even close, you are grounded 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 for 20 years. One chocolate bar, because chocolate is bad for the body, yeah, you should never eat the chocolate. No Arnold Swords in anger. A human can safely eat a single chocolate bar. You are grounded 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 for 20 years. This is a trick question. Eating chocolate cannot kill you. No Amy, that is also not true. You are grounded 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 for 20 years. Nobody knew that one. The answer is that eating 22 pounds of chocolate is enough to kill you. That would be about 40 Hershey bars. Now let's see if anyone gets the next question. How many words are in Spain's national anthem? Does Spain's national anthem have 1,000 words in it? No Tommy Versetti, that is not correct. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Hey man, do you know what you're dealing with here? I'll send my mobsters after you if you keep this up. Just go ahead and try it. I'll kick all their butts. Anyways. Someone else buzz in please. Spain's national anthem has zero words in it, because they are a sad and pathetic puny nation that is not as good as America, oh yeah. Yes Arnold, that is correct. Spain's national anthem has zero words in it. And even though I'm pretty sure you got that one right on accident, I'm still ungrounding you for 100 years. Alrighty then, time for another question to come up here. Which one kills more people, vending machines, or sharks? Is the answer sharks? No Emmy, that is actually not true. You are grounded 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 for 1000 years. The answer has got to be vending machines, because every time Arnold punches one to get his money back, it goes flying and kills at least 20 people. Well Arnold, I have no idea what the heck you're on about, but that is correct. Vending machines kill more people than sharks do, you are ungrounded for 1000 years. Okay then, well I think it's time to go on another quick commercial break, we'll be right back after these messages. Man, I am so bored, there just isn't anything going on today. 
I know. I'll pour my coffee onto my computer. <laughs> Don't pour coffee onto your computer. Okay class, can anyone tell me the answer to this math problem? No teacher, I have no clue at all what the answer to this problem is. Then why did you even say anything if you don't know it? That's it, go to detention right now. Well wa 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 Welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia. I'm Rick Harrison, I mean, I'm Boris. So let's do another question right now. What percentage of baby rabbits are eaten before reaching adulthood? The answer is definitely zero percentage. Those cute little bunnies never get eaten. Ha ha, dream on girl, you are grounded 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 for 500 years. The answer has got to be 100%, because those saddened cute little bunnies make a very tasty snack, especially for me. I love eating rabbit. No Arnold Swartz in agar. If 100% of baby bunnies got eaten, then they would be extinct. You are grounded 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 for 500. 500 watt? Come on man, the suspense is killing me. Oh come on, I was just getting there, 500 years. Yo Boris. You never actually took away any points from Emmy's score. What? Oh gee, you're right. I forgot to actually ground Emmy for 500 years. Time to do that now. Oh come on, why you gotta be a snitch? Don't look at me, just trying to save Pappy Animate from getting 500 comments saying that he made a minor math error. Please shut up both of you. Now let's get back to this question. It's okay Boris. I have no frickin' idea what the answer to this question is, so I'm not gonna buzz in anyway. Um, okay then. Well the answer is that 90% of bunnies get eaten before reaching adulthood, which is kind of sad, but nature gives no craps. Time for another question. What was the nuclear launch code given to US presidents from 1960 to 1977? That code must be zero 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 because America is such a good country that we don't even need a good nuclear missile launch code. Yes, Arnold. For years, a U.S. president could launch a nuclear missile just by typing in zero 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 zero, which is honestly pretty scary. You are ungrounded for three hundred years. Here it is, guys. We have arrived to the final question of the night, so put your thinking caps on, because it's time to knock this one out. If you get this question right, then all your years of grounding will automatically be pardoned and you will be ungrounded for a very long time. Now let's go for it. Please define the inactivate word, imagine versa art on gratasa abanga, and yes, that is a real word. Time's up. The answer is that imager ne virus art and gratasa vanga is an Eskimo word that means, I should try not to become an alcoholic. Anyways guys, that's it for today's episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia episode 13. We finally have a real winner in the form of Arnold Schwarzenegger, even if he likely won by accident. As for the other two, better luck next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia, and again, sorry it took so dang long to make. I wish you all a good night, and stay ungrounded.
Radio. Welcome to Get Ungrounded Trivia Episode 14. I'm your host Boris, and this is the second to last episode of this series, so let's make the most of it. This is another episode powered by the fans, the characters were voted by fans, the questions were submitted by fans, and the commercials were even made by fans. So let's just take a look see at who we've got joining us today. Our first contestant is Tim Templeton from Boss Baby, who seems like a random pick but I'm not here to argue about it. Our next contestant has gotten many votes since the series started, it's Sonic the Hedgehog, and they wanted modern Sonic specifically, so look how green his eyes are. And finally, we've got the cheapest crab around. The one and only Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob SquarePants. Now that our contestants are all here, it's time to go over the rules real quick. You answer questions correctly to get ungrounded, and answer them incorrectly to get grounded. I hope you're ready, because it's time to jump into the first question whether you're ready or not. Our first question is, why is Boris so dumb? Wait a second, this question is blasphemy. Who allowed this to be on the show? I am the smartest man alive. Listen here silly pants 1000. I'm gonna let you off with a warning this time. But I've got my eye on you. Don't test me. Ah, now this one is more like it. Is Boris. A.K.A. me. The best host in Get Ungrounded Trivia. Buzz in if you know this question. Does it answer no? Because that random old man is better? No Tim Templeton. That is not correct. That is the dumbest opinion I've ever heard from anyone ever. You are grounded 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 for 50 years. Is the answer yes? Yes Sonic, I am the best host of Get Ungrounded Trivia. Very good answer, you are ungrounded for 50 years. There goes question 1, but don't get too comfy, because we still have a long way to go. What is the name of Peppa Pig's brother? This question was submitted three times in a row, in case the first two times weren't good enough. Is it George Pig? Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. That is the correct answer. You are ungrounded for 30 years. Question 2 is done. Now let's move on to question 3. Do you like the Butterfinger? I dislike Butterfingers! Oh no Mr. Krabs, that is not the right answer. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Yes, I love Butterfingers. No Tim Templeton, that is also not the answer we were looking for. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. I'm a race car driver I'm going to go around the turn and crash into the pudding oh no me voice is dead for a, 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 a very good Sonic that is exactly what we wanted in fact that was actually a little bit creepy how you even changed your voice like that but anyways you're ungrounded for 100 years okay then I think it's time to go on a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. Please enjoy the commercials which were all made by fans who won the contest. Has this ever happened to you? Classic Kalu, you're stupid. At least I'm not the one who said you're stupid like a roast. That means you're the stupid one here. Oh yeah, well I'm, uh, never mind. Don't worry, we have the perfect solution for you. Now introducing the Roaster Tomato, it will bring ideas to roast people to your mind, but try to not confuse the tomato. Hey Classic Caillou, your mom is so fat that she needs more than 5 seats in the movie theater. But Caillou, we have the same mother, so does that mean you hate mom? Um 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 Oh no, I'm confused, that means I'm going to explode. Thanks a lot Caillou, now I have to buy some new clothes. It was worth it. Buy the roaster tomato now, only at $20. Cookie, nom 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 nom. Are you tired of Cookie Monster eating you because he thinks you are a cookie? Then you need the Oatmeal Raisin Cookie Monster repellent. Oatmeal Raisin Cookies are so bad, that Cookie Monster would not eat them. Cookie. You. Yeah. Oatmeal raisin. See it really works. It can be used for 19.99. 
So call now for your oatmeal raisin cookie monster repellent today. Hey, hey you. Are you bored? And still wondering how you have Christmas decorations even though it's not a Christmas commercial? And are you so bored that you just want to destroy the universe? Well guess what? Today is your lucky day. Introducing, Rapper Offline Logic Gum. You can literally control Rapper Offline's laws of physics with just a piece of gum. You can shapeshift, throw cars high up to the moon, destroy cities, have the ability to ground anyone at will, and best of all, you can even have the power to turn the earth into a tomato. Rapper Offline Logic Gum only for 999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
Hey Core is the teeth guy, aren't we enjoying the Mario Farty games that we are playing on our computers? Of course we are Boris the teeth guy, cause we both like the sound and the smell of farts. I want the new Mario Farty game to come out now. So do I. Do you remember Mario Farty and Mario Farty 2? Those were the most smelly smelly farting games. Well in that case, introducing Mario Farty 3. Not only there's a lot of farting in it, but it also involves with lots of dancing in it. Mario Farty 3. Now available at the VM store. Only for $4.99. Welcome back to episode 14 of Get Unground at Trivia. Now it is time to end the episode by doing the wheel. If you want, you can spin the wheel for a random effect. It might be good, but it might also be bad. So be careful of it. If you do not want to spin the wheel, please buzz in now. Otherwise, you will spin it. Okay then. Looks like Tim Templeton and Sonic do not want to spin the wheel. So it will just be Mr. Krabs doing it this time. Let's see what happens. Oh no, Mr. Krabs spawned the swapped scores option. He can swap his score with one other contestant. So Mr. Krabs, who do you want to swap with? Hey, Big Sonic! Well, that's the end of Get Ungrounded Trivia episode 14, and what an upset. Mr. Krabs got insanely lucky at the very end and swapped scores with Sonic. I'm sure people won't be happy. But either way, that's all for this episode. I wish you all a good night, and stay ungrounded. Guys, episode 15 of Get Unground at Trivia. After many delays and many impatient commenters, it's finally here. You all know the drill by now, so here's the contestants. Normally, we have the fans vote for who they want to be on the show, and then one vote is randomly picked by the wheel. But for the final episode, we're doing something different. We took three characters who always got lots of votes but were never lucky enough to be picked by the wheel. And we decided to have this be their big day. Our first contestant is the Mexican Poop Man, who has gotten one of the highest amount of votes of any character ever, and has derailed at least several episodes so far. Up next we have Jeffy from SML, I think he might have gotten more votes than any other character ever, but I'm too lazy to actually count them, so who knows. And last but not least, we have Dora the Explorer. Hey, isn't the Mexican poop man your dad? No, he is not. Wait, really? Because he certainly looks like your dad. Shut up. Stop talking now. Aha, uh -huh. touched on a nerve there, didn't I? Anyways, the rules are simple. Answer a question right and you're ungrounded, but get it wrong and you're grounded. Now time to start. What color is the sky during a sunny day? If you think you know the answer to this question, then please buzz in and answer it. Okay Mexican poop man, what is your answer? Oh no, wait, stop, don't do your magical poop dance that makes everyone around you poop. Oh come on, I kinda figured that this would happen, but it hasn't even been two minutes. I wasn't expecting it to happen this quickly. Oh, but no, that is not the correct answer. The color of the sky is not magical poop dance, so you are grounded 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 for 100 years. Um, can we please have someone come over here and clean this up? It smells bad. Incorrect Dora, the color of the sky is not, um, can we please have someone come over here and clean this up? It smells bad. That's not even a color you moron. Wait, that wasn't my answer to the question. I know the sky is blue, 
I was just making a request. Too bad, you buzzed in and said something wrong. So you are grounded 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 for 100 years. Is the answer habitat for monkey? No Jeffy, the color of the sky is not habitat for monkey. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. Time's up. The answer is that typically the sky is blue on a sunny day, see, was that so hard? Let's move on to another question now. How long can a crocodile hold its breath? No, stop, not again. No Mexican poop man. The poop dance is not the correct answer to how long crocodiles can hold their breath. You are grounded 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 for 500 years. Drugs. No Jeffy, that is not the correct answer. You are grounded 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 for 500 years. Is the answer 10 minutes? No Dora, that is not right. You are grounded 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 for 500 years. Again. Nobody got that one. The answer is that a crocodile can hold its breath for about an hour. Okay, now it's time for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages, and in the meantime we'll try to restrain the Mexican poop man to stop him from moving. Oh boy, time to head to Chuck E. Cheese. Yay, Elmo cannot wait. Sega Satan Shu. Sega Saturn. Buy one or an old Asian guy will beat the out of you. Do you hate something? I mean anything. I don't care what it is that you hate. Just that you hate it. Do you wish that there could be a scathing rant left on this thing that you hate? Introducing. Rants are us. You tell us what you hate and we will do a rant on it for you with all the quality of a 9 year old who is using mommy's computer when she's not looking, take a look. Microsoft Edge. What? More like Microsoft crap. We will rant on anything, no matter how stupid the topic. Left leg of the forbidden one is so stupid, I mean it's just one leg, I have two legs and you don't see me calling myself special. We will even rant on offensive topics that will get you tons of angry comments from other children. Do you know who likes black people, Kim Jong-un? He wants to kill everyone in North Korea and replace them with black people so they can all have an orgy. Most importantly, we will always respect the opinions of others. Before I start this rant, if you like this person, I respect your opinion. Rants are us, only one dollar per word, per rant. On today's episode of 10 Second Debates, we debate whether or not Twitter users deserve to live Ready, set, debate. I personally think everyone who has a Twitter account should die. I agree 100%. Twitter users are not real people. Alright folks, well it's decided. Twitter users do not deserve to live, so go out and delete your Twitter account right now. That's all for this episode of 10 Second Debates. Join us next week when we debate whether or not Reddit users deserve to live. Spoiler alert, it's not yes. Welcome back to my personal worst nightmare, aka Get Ungrounded Trivia 15. Now let's get right back into the swing of things with another question. Stop liking the Mexican poop man start hating the Mexican poop man screw you pappy because I thought I said that I don't want the Mexican poop man to be on Get Ungrounded Trivia episode 15. I don't think you even read my comment that said if he is on there I would lose my uh, temper. Hang on a second. Let me deal with this guy in a professional and civil manner. No, 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 no. Ah, that's much better. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, question time. Let's go. Which side of the body is left leg of the forbidden one on? Oh, come on. Stop that. No Mexican poop man. The poop dance is yet again not the correct answer to which side of the bodied left leg of the forbidden one is on. You are grounded 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 for 99 years. Is it right? No Dora, left leg of the forbidden one is not on the right side of the body, 
Seriously, did you not hear the name of it? You're grounded 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 for 99 years. Is it right? No Jeffy, I literally just told Dora that wasn't correct. Why are you such a stupid moron? You are grounded 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 for 99 years just like everyone else is. That was the hardest question ever, so I don't blame everyone for getting it wrong. Oh wait, yes I do, because the left leg is on the left, which is easy as crap, and you're all dumb. Whatever man, let's just move on to the next question, because every new question is another step closer to the end of my suffering. What color was King George III's pee? That's it, Mexican poop man, I will not deal with your antics any longer, I am going to conduct the forbidden ritual that will ensure that you never do your poop dance again. Yes, I've done it, I've sealed the Mexican poop man into five different cards and scattered them throughout the world, now he can never exist in this mortal realm again, ha 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 ha. Whoa, what just happened? I blacked out. All I know is that I was unconscious for about a minute. Oh, I'm sure it was nothing. No need to worry about it. Wait, where did the Mexican poop man go? Oh, he just needed to go bye-bye. Don't worry about him. Oh, but now that he's gone we'll need another contestant. So I guess it's time to pick someone else for the rest of this episode. And I know just the guy. This character also received a very large number of votes. So come on out, Pappy Anime 2012. Wait, me, but I can't be on the show. That's just not right. I don't care. You are being forced to. Now get out here this instant. Fine. I'm coming. But you'll need to repeat that last question. Also, you need to set the score back to normal. Oh yeah. Let me change that now. Wait. Why do I get the Mexican poop man score? That's not fair. I don't care. Now enough wasting time, let's go back to that last question. What color was King George III's pee? Is the answer yellow? No pappy, that is somehow not correct. You are grounded 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 for 500 years. Is the answer blue? Yes Dora, King George III's pee was blue, and I don't even want to know. You are ungrounded for 500 years. Let's do another question now. Name a good tip for making your own episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia. Make the music so loud that you cannot hear what the characters are saying. No Dora, that's not a good tip. You are grounded 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 for 1000 years. Copy all the questions, commercials, and jokes from Pappy's videos. No Jeffy, you don't want to just copy everything. You are grounded 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 for 1000 years. Just do the opposite of what they said. Yes Pappy, doing the opposite of what they said is good advice. You are ungrounded for 1000 years. Okay, well now it is time for another commercial break. We will be right back after these messages. 
Time to go outside. Hey, you left the front door open. What? Do you think we live in a barn? Why yes, actually. Ha ha ha. Yes, we do live in a barn. Farm lightning. Turn your house into a farm with one simple potion. You can't do anything else with it, but it can be funny if your mom asks if you live in a barn. Merry Christmas from the crew of Get and Grounded Trivia. Sure, we know Christmas is 10 months away, but we have tons of Christmas junk we need to sell on clearance. So please buy it. Welcome back to Get Ungrounded Trivia, where it's time for us to spin the wheel. As usual, you can spin the wheel if you want to. This can cause something good to happen, but it can also cause something bad to happen. Please buzz in now if you do not want to spin the wheel. Okay, looks like Jeffy is the only one who does not want to spin the wheel, despite being in last place, whatever, let's just have Pappy spin first. Oh boy, the wheel has landed on Justin Bieber. Baby, 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 oh, like, baby, baby, baby. No, like. Um, okay then. I don't know what that was. I'm just gonna move on to Dora now and forget that even happened. Alright, well the Trix Rabbit has eaten literally everyone and everything, so I guess we'll call that one a loss, and he even ate the entire set and all the staff. So I guess we won't be able to do any more of these anytime soon. Anyways, that's all for the final episode of Get Ungrounded Trivia. For the last time, I wish you all a good night, and stay ungrounded.